Hey, what's going on Jeepers? Eric with Morris 4x4 Center, and today I'm going to be answering a lot of common questions we get about Jeeps, so sit back and prepare to get educated. Okay, so when we all took the dive into Jeep culture, we all started from the same starting point. That would be with our first Jeep. Now, no one expects you to have all the answers a week after owning your first Jeep. I certainly didn't have all the answers. It took years to gain all the knowledge that I've earned today. But believe it or not, there are a lot of seasoned Jeepers who don't even know the answers to the most simplest questions that we get at Morris 4x4 Center. And the number one question that we get is who owns Jeep? Well. Have you ever heard of this little company out of Italy called Ferrari? What about Alfa Romeo or Lancia? How about Maserati? We've all heard of Maserati. Well, the company who owns all of those is Fiat, and their most recent purchase was Jeep, as well as Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, and SRT. Now, in 2009, Chrysler went bankrupt, and Fiat actually bought a small percentage of it. And over the course of the next five years, they slowly acquired the remaining shares of Jeep and then ultimately in 2014 took full ownership. And they actually own Jeep under the subsidiary Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. Now, there's actually been a lot of owners before Jeep. And I'll go over those with you real quick so you can see the long road that Jeep's had and all the different owners. All right, so it took a lot of years to build that Jeep that you've come to know and love today and it's taken a lot of owners to do it too. Now officially they started in 1944 under Willys Overland and they held the company through 1953 which is bought by Kaiser Jeep. For some weird reason they decided to call themselves Willys Motors unofficially and they held that till 1970 and then American Motor Company came in in 1970 and held it through 1987 and then actually fun fact Renault controlled production in 1986 of all the Jeep vehicles for that year. And that's when Chrysler, who we all know, came in in 1987, and they held it through 98, which then uh, Daimler Chrysler owned them up until 2007. Now we're getting to, into the JK years that everybody knows. Uh, 07 through 09 was held by Chrysler LLC, which, who unfortunately went bankrupt. And then 2009 to 2013, that's when Chrysler Group LLC was formed in partnership with Fiat Automobiles. And then finally, 2014, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles took full ownership, and we are at where we are today with the Jeeps that we love. Okay, I hope I dropped a ton of useful information into your hands to help you guys become a more diverse Jeep owner. Now, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, follow us on YouTube, and also go over to our website, www.morris4x4center.com. This way you can sign up for our mailing list, receive all the latest updates, gear reviews, product demos, and also receive our promotions that we run throughout the year. Now, also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Give us a like. We post a ton of awesome content on there you don't want to miss out on. Guys, my name's Eric. I appreciate you watching so much, and I hope to see you guys next time out on the trail.